Jackadoodle Dog Breed Guide. The Jackadoodle, Jackapoo, or even Jack Russell Poodle Mix are all valid names for this tremendously popular and lovable dog, who is the result of mixing a poodle and a Jack Russell Terrier together. These two dogs may be pretty different, both in size as well as personality, but when combined, it creates a truly fascinating dog that has captivated plenty of dog owners across the world. We're going to be doing a full guide for this awesome mixed breed today, which includes breed info, grooming and training tips, and really everything you have to know about Jackadoodles before owning one. So make sure to stick around and make sure to leave a like if you love Jackadoodles. Breed Origins and Background The Jack Russell Terrier started in England a few hundred years ago, and much like the Poodle, has a pretty long backstory to tell. This small and compact dog was bred for the purpose of hunting and chasing down game creatures, like foxes and rabbits, and it did a great job of it. The Jack Russell Terrier quickly became a popular dog across England, and was known for three qualities. They were fast, athletic, and gentle. That third quality would eventually make it a great pet, as people would get them to play fetch only to realize how caring of a breed they truly were. They are also smart and became a mainstay on television shows and movies as an easy-to-train dog for studios to use. At only 13 to 17 pounds at full size, this was a dog that was small but definitely didn't act like your typical tiny dog. The Poodle also has an illustrious history full of attention and recognition, and it remains one of the most popular dog breeds in the world to this day. The Poodle also got its start in Europe and was a friend of the farmers and working class in rural Germany during the 19th century. People mainly used this dog to help around the farm, as well as to jump into the water and pull out dead animals that had been shot during a hunt. Eventually, due to their unique style of hair, they would become one of the original designer dogs and would go on to win countless dog shows as well. These dogs are known to be incredibly smart and also easy to train, and are great for people that want a very dignified dog experience. The Jackadoodle's Look The resulting Jackadoodle is much more versatile than the Jack Russell Terrier in terms of look, and that's all thanks to the Poodle. The Jackadoodle inherits the multitude of colors and patterns that the Poodle is able to produce, and as a result, you can have a pretty unique looking Jackadoodle. The most well-known colorways for the dog, however, are any combination of black, brown, or cream with white, and these all look similar enough to the original look to still seem classic. The best part of the Jackadoodle inheriting Poodle genetics, however, has to do with the coat itself which makes the Jackadoodle hypoallergenic and non-shedding. If you are someone who is forced to deal with dog allergies, or if you are someone who just hates having to deal with shedding, then this is great news. There are some drawbacks to this kind of hair, which we will get into soon, but having a hypoallergenic dog that is full of energy and loves to play fetch is already many people's dream scenario, and it's not hard to see why. Mood and Personality the part of dogs that most of us fall in love with isn't their look or the tricks they are able to pull off, though, but rather what kind of personality they have. Luckily, the Jackadoodle benefits from two parents with equally interesting and friendly outlooks, though. This dog is best described as faithful, adoring, and smart. You also should never have to deal with any aggression issues either, as this dog is incredibly social and actually wants to be around people and even other dogs. The Jackadoodle even does well with small children, and you can rest easy knowing that your child is completely safe with this dog, even if the child does something unexpected. Socialization and Training Like we touched on a bit before, the Jackadoodle is a breed that absolutely loves to play fetch, and they pick it up incredibly easy too. This is an incredibly active breed of dog, and so they're usually pretty interested in the training process as a whole too. Like most dogs, the best way to train a Jackadoodle is by starting from a young age, and that includes a lot more than just learning tricks and commands. Socialization is incredibly important when it comes to the Jackadoodle, as they are at their happiest interacting with others. In order to give them this experience, it's important that you expose them to other dogs of various size, as well as with other people. Children are also important to introduce to your Jackadoodle, as otherwise they can seem unpredictable and even a bit scary to your dog. 
When compared to other animals, the jackadoodle adjusts to different people very quickly, but that doesn't mean that you can expect them to just figure it out one day, and it's important that you physically introduce them to different kinds of people and animals. Exercise Since jackadoodles are smaller, you don't have to exercise them as much as their energy level might suggest. You should aim for at least 30 minutes of exercise a day though, as otherwise the jackadoodle can become a bit sassy at times and more difficult to keep under control. These dogs do really well with frisbee, fetch, hiking, or going to a dog park, and all of these stimulate the animal physically as well as mentally. Like we've said before, the jackadoodle is a very smart animal, and they can grow bored with activities that other dogs would enjoy. Switching up what you have them do is a good way to keep them invested, and to make sure that they are still being challenged mentally. If you start to notice them doing things like chewing on shoes or moving the TV remote around, these may be symptoms of boredom and are something to keep an eye on moving forward. Will they get along with cats? Many pet owners assume that because they are both small that the jackadoodle would be able to get along with an animal like a cat. Unfortunately, this isn't always the case, which is not to say that it can't work, but it may take a lot more work on your part. Jackadoodles inherit a high prey drive from the Jack Russell Terrier, and as a result have a natural tendency to hunt things that are about cat-sized. This usually presents itself in the form of a seemingly unnatural aggression from the jackadoodle, which can sometimes shock or even disturb their owners. Introducing the two parties while they are young is usually the best way to make this sort of situation work, and in those cases, it actually can seem like a natural fit. When you are dealing with an adult jackadoodle, however, you may have to be more careful about the situation and slowly introduce the two to each other over a long stretch of time. The good news here is that jackadoodles want to please their owners, and you can teach them to treat the cat well. It's very much worth noting that in these cases, you still will have to be careful around other cats. Teaching your jackadoodle to respect your own house cat won't mean that the dog will treat all cats in that way, and you should still exercise some caution before letting a jackadoodle and new cat hang out together. And that's about all for our guide on the jackadoodle. It's such a unique kind of dog with plenty of characteristics that you don't normally see. But what do you guys think? Would this ever be a dog you'd be interested in bringing home? Let us know in the comments section what you think. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see all of you later.